Hello, YouTube. We're back for another video today. And in this video, we're going to be unpacking stuff that I got today. So, let's see what the basket has to offer. Now, if you didn't see the video that I recorded before this, um, you should watch it. But that has nothing to do with this. So, what you should watch, if you do need any context, though, is the video on the Connie's Creations channel. Because that is where we unbox stuff and talk about a little something that I got today. Alright, let's get on with the video. So, I will show stuff in order of whenever I got it. But first, I need to find something that... Okay found it. Um, okay. Now, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, wow. Movie? When did this become a movie unboxing channel? Suckers. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, um, me and my mom own hundreds of of discs and recently we found a thrift store which I will not say the name of because I don't want any harassment towards them because I'm about to say some criticism of them but <laughs> I've been buying DVDs from the thrift store that we have around here locally and I have quite a few experiences there because I go there frequently to find discs because they do get in new stuff a lot. Most of it seems to be a lot of eh, kind of junk stuff, but hell, it's cheap. <laughs> So they have all their discs there for a dollar. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that because I have found some good stuff. And this is something good because I do like Monster High. Not to specifically this movie. This one's kind of a uh, eh for me. But, you know... Hell, I mean, for a dollar, what else can I say? Which, before I do move on to the next thing, though, I, I do have to say that recently, if any of you who know me locally, if you all want to do check out this place, just know, for whatever reason, it is a goddamn mess in there. I mean, it is so bad that in front of where all the movies are, like the discs, and then the VHSs, there was just so much damn clutter there of just, like, junk. Like, oh, it's merchandise, but, uh, you know, stuff that, did, you know, shouldn't have went there because it was in front of all the movies. And then on the shelves where all the movies are, there was just more, you know, clutter and whateverness going on. So, thrift store, if you see this, you know, declutter some or just organize some. Good night. I mean, I went on Google, you know, just to see some information about this place, right? And apparently two to three years ago, you know, they held their 
first store was as clean as a Walmart, right? You know, well now, I feel like every month, you know, I go there multiple times a month, but slowly every month, it's been getting more messy. So y'all, fix your problem. But yeah, and then at the checkout though, they had this button, which I know, you know, like, you know, ooh, Jake, are you becoming a scene kid or something? But no. Also, I've never watched Invader Zim at all, but I do have a little girlfriend named Ray, and I know that she loves very much and okay I did not pay two dollars for it I think I paid like I don't know like 30 50 cents for I don't even know but you know I mean it's cute what more can you ask which by the checkout they always have like just random stuff it's under a dollar so yeah make sure before you check out to look at it and see if there's anything that fancies you so beside this place is the peddlers mall which um, just forget I said that. Um, next, I went to the Peddler's Mall, and in my last video where I covered the Peddler's Mall, there was a keychain of Light and L. Well, they got in some new stuff, and it was actually a lot of cool stuff. And we got this poster here, right? And, I mean, this is the coolest shit ever. Okay, look at this. Kyle, Misa, and Light. I mean, bro, it goes three ways. I've never seen that before. Ever. Which, in video, it doesn't show up as good. It's kind of harder to get it to do it good on video, but... <laughs> I hope you guys get my point and can see how cool this is, which also they do have the Shinigamis beside them. They got Ryuk, Rem, and honestly, y'all don't get mad at me, but I, I forgot this dude's name, but I know he's the one that, like, Ryuk stole his death note or something. Uh, maybe spoilers, but, um, also don't, like, you know, don't use me as a source for any info, man, because I don't know. And, yeah, that was, um... Cool. Okay, next thing. Button. Wow. Um, and then there was a dollar, which you'll notice by now the stuff from stand 266. Uh, you know, booth 266, if you ever, if you ever run across my videos, I don't know who you are, man, but... I will sponsor you. Okay. The out of the goodness of my heart. Because I've probably spent over a hundred dollars at your stand by now of figures and also these buttons and keychains, but yeah, I got a button. I have no clue what franchise this is from, but, you know, I thought it was 
cute. So, yeah. Next, we have oops, um, stuff in here. There's um, two different things in here. Um, first, we've got a acrylic stand. So whenever I was checking out the lady there, she was like, my kid keeps on getting these, but I don't know what it is. And I'm like, oh, it's an acrylic stand. And she's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, my kid, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I mean, the workers at the Peddler's Mall, they're just great. I mean, most of them I've met are nice, but some of them, though, from my experience at least, can be a little, not rude, but like, definitely not the most welcoming type. I guess. But, yeah, I think this is the first time I have seen an acrylic stand at booth 266. Which, oops. Okay. I'm sorry, but to, to the poor workers at the Peddler's Mall, can you not, like... Okay, let me do, you know, like, how they wrapped it, okay? They put it in, like, this, and then, you know, did this. Okay, but look, that's, that's not how you should do it, okay? Take this off of the base, okay? Because you don't want the, bre the base getting broken, okay? And then... See, now you can put it in like this. Do that. And see, look, now it's actually safe. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no hate to y'all, but sometimes y'all don't know how to actually, like, paper wrap this stuff. And, like, I don't want my, my like, stuff that I paid for being damaged just because some of y'all don't know how to, like, paper wrap it. I mean, I don't know if this stuff does need paper wrapped, but if you're gonna do it, like, don't do it in a way that might break stuff. Please, for the love of what's in the sky. Also, just side note, I don't know what character this is. I just thought it was a, like, very cute acrylic stand, and I was like, eh, I'm gonna get it, Ooh. but, yeah, um, then, we've, of course, got another figure, in which, um, okay, yeah, I know this. Look, guys. Look. Okay, it's not what it seems like. I know this figure is a little controversial, especially on the the TikTok. You know, but... I, I can explain myself here. Okay? I like the, the character. I like the character. Okay, guys, I like the character. And, um, I just thought the outfit was whoop, cute. Okay, I have nothing else to say for myself, but, um, let me just try to zoom in on what this says here. Booth 266, okay, I know that much, but... Anime fig. Um. I don't know, y'all. Like. I, I can't tell if this, per if this person just wrote that on there. Because 
I didn't know what character it was or what, which I don't think it is because I have bought another Evangelion figure from there. It was um, an Asuka one. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, the red hair one with anger issues. Um, I bought a figure of her in a white dress and I would have to go check but I think it said Asuka on there for this. And then it said, you know, anime figure, whatever. But I don't know what's going on. And I'm not going to ask, you know. Yeah. But I mean, I did pay $20, which I looked online. And um. I mean, it seems like a fair price, I think. I, I don't know, because also the umbrella is just missing. I didn't know there was an umbrella, but apparently there is, and it's just missing. So, yeah, I don't know, but $20, I'd say personally I'm okay with what I paid for it, because... I like it, and I don't really mind that the umbrella is nowhere to be found. I mean, there's been a couple times where I think I might have overpaid from that booth, but in their defense, it wasn't, like, too much. It's just that I don't think they had anywhere or they could price check because it was more obscure figures. But yeah, um, there's some, I don't know what on here. I'm a little scared, but yeah, this figure, it's, um, I don't know, I'm thinking about taking back what I said about paying a fair price. Because then, like, someone took a sharpie to this, clearly, and just... Yeah, I don't know what. Which... I mean, I don't know, I feel like that should have lowered the price by, like, a dollar or so, but... I mean, from the front... It's not visible except for that one little splooch there. But, yeah. Overall, I mean, I'm okay with it. You know, but guys, I do recommend you go there. Okay, which I'm not telling you. I'm just saying, if you need figures, if you're in dire need of figures, okay, and, you know, you want ones with scuff marks on them, or ones that are questionably priced, then go there. Please, booth owner, don't hate me. Um... Yeah, I mean, okay, what I said earlier, though, about sponsorships, that that was a joke. I don't take sponsorships on this damn channel. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, for real, though, I am genuinely somewhat disappointed with what I paid for here because I didn't know much about this figure other than that people on TikTok don't like it, but... Yeah, now that I know that it would, it's supposed to come with an umbrella, and it's just missing, like, yeah, that's gonna be, like, a, a no in my book, at least. And also, this base is, like, screwed in. I don't know if that's supposed to be normal or not, but, like, seriously, bro, like, because I was trying to rip this out of the base. So, like, I think I'm going to, like, take a screwdriver and get it out of this base. Because this base is so ugly. I hate figures with white bases. And, 
yeah, if you liked this video, give it a like and subscriber. If you have complaints, comments, or concerns about this figure, then drop it down below in the comments. And yeah, guys, I'll see y'all in another video some other night. Bye-bye.